At the Strathmore Business School in Nairobi, an online-run gift store is abuzz with activity as the rest of the school is buried in books and lectures. From jewelry, flowers to wine and many more, Power Pink has it all, offering a wide range of online gift solutions. The startup company is the brainchild of two 22-year-old university graduates, Ariton Bett and Diana Mwaniki. We started it wasn't that serious. We started it as just something because we were, we were both students in campus, second year, second semester, and we were both broke. So we just started something that would give us money to just have fun, go out in campus. It was just as simple as that. Barely one year old since the company was registered, Popping's worth is over 10 million Kenyan shillings. However, it has not been a smooth ride for the duo. The biggest challenge when we started was Okay, when we started taking it seriously, after we decided that, hey, look, we can really do a lot with this and all that, was um, support. In terms of a lot of big suppliers and a lot of big companies were not ready to really get on our backs and support us and be like, you guys don't sell, you guys are too young, and stuff like that. Because, you see, the first impression is always one thing. We were two very young university kids, and here we were going to big suppliers, big chocolate distributors, and telling them, hey, we want to stock your products, we'll supply them, we'll sell them to everyone, we have a store. So it was very hard to be taken seriously then. With six full-time and casual employees and over 32,000 Facebook subscribers, enough to give many orders at any given time, one wonders what was the company's initial capital. So our initial capital was Kenyan shillings, 300 bob. We didn't go to big suppliers, and because at that point we didn't even know any supplier. At that point we just went to the downtown section of town, got some earrings on wholesale. Not many, because 300 shillings, if the earrings are at 50 bob each, we got six. So the six we came and we sold to our classmates in campus. Um, we got a profit, so that you buy them at 50 bob, you sell them at 100 bob. So 100 bob times six, you get 600 bob. At that point, redo the whole thing again. So at that point in time, we never used to pay each other. We never, actually, I think money was just rotating. We get this money, you take that money, you put it in like a box, take it back, buy all your stock, have zero money, sell, get the full money, that, constantly doing that. The company is also growing its corporate portfolio. Um, Papping started a corporate gift side because we realized that a lot of corporates do a lot of gifting. So we realized that with mainly all these corporates who want different gifts, who are asking for gifts and want a professional to do it, we realized there was a problem. At the moment in this country, we are the only full-time gift store. From morning to evening, we do gifts, only gifts. But all the corporates need gifts. They are getting gifts, but we don't know of any other full-time gift store. So the problem was there were a lot of briefcase businesses in the market, a lot of people say they do gifts just before end of year when corporates want gifts and after that they're done and gone so what we did is we did our research on different kinds of corporate hampers and corporate gifts we could do and people started liking them a lot this investment they say is not stopping in kenya um the future plan is just to expand within africa especially east africa let me say short-term goals um, at the moment, we've covered Kenya, and we're trying to spread as much as we can to just cover the whole of the country. After that, East Africa, then after that, the whole of Africa. We're not planning to go outside Africa, but we think Africa is just our playground because we understand the systems, and the way we do online business is a bit different from everyone else. With a growing middle class in Kenya, the online gift store is drawing its loyal clientele. But this comes with more pressure to meet their growing demands. But just how is Popping keeping this market happy and beating the competition? So for most people, when you start a business and when you're starting it, especially in the initial early stages, don't take it too seriously. Don't push it to achieve goals that a business of five and ten years should be achieving. Just take it slowly and build the work slowly and with time all the goals will be got.